Good morning world! After 100 days living in our camper, Red Tornado, visiting 13 countries and driving 15,000 kilometers, here's how we find free overnight camping spots along the way. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Number one, we found two very, very useful apps. App number one, Park for Night and app number two, iOverlander. Actually, in Europe, Park for Night is probably the best one. But you know, if you're using two apps, you can't go wrong because they're both going to give you different alternatives. You can check out different places that they're suggested by other people. You're bound to find something absolutely awesome. A really cool thing is as well that they're both for free. So you can just download them and use them without spending any money, which is really genuine and very nice. Yeah, and they're all community based. So when somebody makes a suggestion for a new spot, other people, they can visit those spots and then those people can say, yes, it was good or no, the police kicked me out or something like this. We do read those kinds of comments. <laughs> In the end, if you use these two apps together, you're bound to find an absolutely awesome place nearly every night to camp. Number two, highway rest areas. If you're kind of just going on the road and you're trying to get somewhere and you don't really have time to go off and find these like small camping spots that they suggest on these apps, highway rest areas are super cool because there's loads of them along and it is absolutely fine to spend the night in these places because they're rest areas. These are the perfect areas to have a quick stopover, have a good sleep and get going the next day. Some downsides to these places, they often have lights everywhere, which is really good for security. But if you don't have a way of blocking that light coming in the camper van, then it can be a little bit disturbing. Also, there are often a lot of lorries and cars and everybody's going in and out pretty much throughout the night in these places. So a highway rest area is a safe and comfortable place to sleep, but you're not gonna have maybe the most peaceful night's sleep. Sometimes beggars can't be choosers. Number three, and my personal favorite, is to camp in national parks. Of course, every country has their own rules, so make sure you check the rules before you park up and sleep there. I know that in Wales and in England it's for free, and you can just park up your van in a national park, enjoy an epic surrounding and an epic night of sleep. Also in Bosnia, I remember there was a huge camping area inside one of the national parks that we visited and totally free to go to. You can have a really, really beautiful night's sleep and wake up in an absolutely beautiful place. Now, they're not always accessible. Some countries have more, some countries have less. Some countries, there's some really big restrictions on where you can camp inside of them. Do your research in advance, but if you're willing to make your way there and the country allows for it, then you can have a perfect night inside a national park. So this is our ways how we find free camping spots along the way. Just let us know what you think and what is your technique to find awesome camps along the way. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know if you have any suggestions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.